This is a video to demonstrate the basic settings of the Oxylog 3000 and how to change them. First of all, switch the ventilator on by pressing the on button and holding. Let the Oxylog run its check and select by clicking down on the knob Adult Disposable Hose. It should default to VC CMV, the Volume Control Continuous Mode Ventilation Method. To adjust your tidal volumes, which would have been pre-calculated using the ulna length and ideal body weight, working it out to six mils per kilo, you can use this knob here and you will get the change corresponding in the bottom right hand corner. To change the respiratory rate, you can you adjust this knob here and you will see that the number changes as well. To adjust the maximum amount of pressure that the ventilator can deliver in this mode, you change this knob here. To change the amount of oxygen that is delivered to the patient, you adjust this knob here. To change your inspiratory expiratory ratio, your IE ratio, you click through settings until you see IE, as is denoted here. Turn the knob until the rectangle rests over the relevant part. Click to make it solid and change this till it goes to a one to one ratio. And click again to confirm. At this point in time, you have set up the basic settings. To review what tidal volumes the patient is generating, you press the values button up here and click through the menu until you get to VTE, which is the tidal volume measurement. If you are not achieving your tidal volume, at this point in time, you should contact the intensive care colleagues uh, to come and review the patient. However, in the meantime, to improve the ventilation of this patient, we can change them onto the pressure control BiPAP setting by pressing the button, getting the flashing light, clicking the knob to confirm until there is a solid light, and this will change the settings. To adjust the PEEP, similarly to the way that you adjusted the IE ratios, click to the number, change, and click again to confirm. If we're still not achieving tidal volumes, you can change the peak inspiratory pressure by clicking and increasing that to achieve your tidal volumes. If you are still not able to ventilate the patient at this point in time with adequate tidal volumes, then again, we need to be rechecking an arterial blood gas whilst calling our ITU colleagues and following the flow chart as denoted from the hypo hypoxic respiratory failure ventilation flow chart. Thank you.